Well, here we are at Orham Gallery. Finally, we have our first artist in residence. It is the infamous Curtis Hilton. Great to How be are you? It's great, great to, to be here. here. We were talking over a year now, I think. It's been a minute, man. Back and forth. It has been. Yeah. Is this your first time in Asia? It is indeed. And yeah. Thailand. It is, yeah. First week, it's been crazy. Do you like it? A feast for all the senses. <laughs> <laughs> What's been your... Uh, your main thing being here, what's been the thing that's kind of like, as a first time visitor to Asia, what's, what's been the, the magic, if you like? Uh, I'd say as a visual person, coming off the plane and coming into the city, just the, the architecture, you know, it yeah. st st struck me as soon as I got it, you've mm. got the neck breaking skyscrapers, you've got the commodious buildings, you've got the traditional temples, <laughs> just a feast for the eyes. And then amongst <laughs> all of that, you've got vines and nature and wines. Yeah. And yeah, the hustle and bustle yeah. is mad, bro. For those of you that don't know Curtis, I picked up on Curtis through a few artists that I know. Um, and originally you were a graph writer, which is most of us are graffiti writers. Indeed, yeah, Indeed. That's, that's right. And you're born and raised in Reading? I live, I live in Reading now. Yeah, I've been right. there for a number of years, but I've always sort of been, yeah, south of England. And Reading is like, kind of, it's kind of like southwest. Yeah. Yeah, it's southwest, southwest of England. England. If you're in the centre of London, it's that way that way on the camera um, and what was your you know being here what was looking back in hindsight and, and where you're at now obviously for us it's getting a small set of paintings together with your kind of new and and your contemporary work of yeah. where's the inspiration come from because obviously people that don't know these words you've got to check this side stuff out you're working in flowers and, and animals and it seems a far cry from where you're at from a writer's perspective. Yeah, from, from how did it go? Started. How did that trans what this what was the transition? So the transition like, I mean, okay, let's go back to the beginning. So growing up, um like lived close to the forest, like childhood was basically outside, you know? And um I think that just resonated with me. And then after sort of getting into graph and, and living in urban areas and kind of just getting a bit disconnected, I felt oh. well, it came a bit full circle and I was just like like, graph was all good, don't get me wrong. I learned a lot. I made so many great friends. I've gone to so many great places. But truly, for me, I was like, I want to be painting something that comes from a bit more, like, from here. Right. You know? And uh, like I said, nature has always resonated with me from a young age. So as soon as I got confident with using spray paint as a medium, mm. I can sort of translate my ideas from animals and flowers onto the wall. That's, that's when I was just like... Oh, but as a graph writer, being comfortable using a brush, was that something that you always felt natural to do? But some of the work that you do on the on the the, 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 the scale stuff, for example, which I first saw the bigger stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. before I seen the smaller stuff, um, and and like I said, working with brushes was was brush was brushes like a natural medium for you? Did it feel? Was you in art school, for example? Was there something at like super into art? I actually wanted to be a, a comic book illustrator, so I learned brushes from inking like graphic novel sketches i just copy certain things and yeah just got used to using a brush and then you know it's like you discover spray paint and it's like right. whoa this is so much easier <laughs> and so much more fun yeah uh, but then obviously like in terms of, of, of doing smaller scale pieces you, you can't really i mean I, like you're saying like, there was a, a mismatch of different mediums going on yesterday mm. when you came in, I was spray paint, stencils, I was brushes, I was markers. Mm. But like, I try and do as much as I can with spray paint because that's like, mm. the love to go to, but then obviously to, to finesse it to get in with the brush. The, the, the association with nature, was there one particular person that kind of made you, was it your mother, was it your father, was it an uncle? It was was it just, was it your mum? It was my mother. So um, I'm a twin and growing up, like every There's Sunday, another one of you? I mean, not identical, <laughs> but, um, but yeah. There's, there's, I can only deal with one case. I can only deal with one at a time. <laughs> but yeah, no, growing up, like I said, um, every Sunday without fail, my mum, like, she's really into hiking, rambling, whatever, and um, she'll take us like rain, wind, or snow wow. every Sunday. And like at, at the time, I didn't really appreciate it. I was just like, oh, it's it's dragging me out. Yeah, it's like, cold out there. Boom, boom, boom. I could walk six miles, like my little legs and all that. But um, but like looking back, I'd, like if it wasn't for that man, um, mm. I'd be like anyone else that sort of doesn't have. I think you need stuff like that from a young age, and whether or not it's same throughout, yeah. Yeah, 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 like it'll always be there. And mm. like I said, it will always come back um, one way or another. So what was the what was the main 
Because, you know, we, we were speaking earlier on after dinner about, and I'm just thinking, you said born in 92, and I just realised how old I am. I'm like, 92 for me was like <laughs> a peak, peak of raving. I'm thinking, <laughs> God, born in 92, it just seems, it just seems crazy how, what were your, for, for us, pre-internet, yeah, no. for us, it was, we're pre so it's very different for us in terms of how we inspired. What was, from a graffiti writer's perspective, what was your, what was your main artist inspirations? There could be several. What was it from graph? Was it the community? Was it that? Tell me your, 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 you know, your paragraph about what your, your, your inspirations were from graph. So I saw graph for the first time on a bike ride. I was riding down the Thames. There's a spot in West Byfleet. It's just like pillars under the flyover. And my mum and brother just bolting on, squeezing the brakes. And I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> what, what sound? What like? is this? No, West Byfleet. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just... It's, I know what you mean, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a classic spot, man. It's been there like longer mm. than I've been alive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I remember, yeah, just ramming the brakes on and being like, yo, like this is insane. Like, mm. the colour, I remember, like, the people were carrying those pieces. I was just, like, blown away. And then, um, yeah, I was obviously into like graphic novels. I've always been into like hands on, use your imagination, you know, like Lego, mm. all, all this kind of stuff. And then, um, I don't know, graph for me, when I moved to uh, a town called Basingstoke. Um, Basingstoke, you know, the amazing last time. Time. Blazing Smoke. <laughs> um, yeah, for such a small town, it had such a crazy scene. There was like a number of crews doing bits, like mm. on the regular. And, um, yeah, that's your local crew that ended up painting a load of murals in my high school. So, like, all in the art block and then the drama block was just, like, burnt. And even to, like, they hold weight now. Do you know what I mean? Oh, wow. So, like, okay. So, from there, you know, I must have been 14. I guess it's a different generation. We were on the rebound where you'd go back and get asked for the score once you'd become yeah. something where it was like, it's coming back to the a piece of art that we... <laughs> that, that we smiled. I believe it was a punishment for them. I think they... Um, yeah, they got back, and I think their punishment was to pay a fine and do this at the, at the school, which is great. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good reward system. Yeah, yeah. So who, who has inspired you? In, is, it, is it more the new generation or old generation? For me, it was all about, um, it was like German writers, man, like their, like, um, Cantu, Atom, Rex. Cantu's for legend. I mean, Cantu's. Yeah, it's to bite the shit out of You <laughs> okay. know what? My first tag was cast. <laughs> A bit the C A. It's amazing. Well, it's been Count Can- has been what well, is he's been consistent forever, basically. Yeah. With style. You know what I mean? And, and he has he has that. So I guess it was yeah, a lot of the German writers were really moving stuff colour wise and letter form moving and stuff. So he's been a really big inspiration for you. Yeah, yeah, because it was sort of like um just it's that traditional flex, but then at the time it was just doing smart. I remember seeing a piece in the magazine, it was like a, in Melbourne, him and Adam on a track side. And I was just like, mm. I've only ever seen crime track sides, and this is like mm. production. Yeah, the product is production would be second to none. What do you what do you think? You know, it, it did you see the transition of like you said about nature inspiring you? Mm. These pieces you're working on for the gallery. Tell me a little bit about what the you know, we spoke about doing flowers. I'm fascinated with how you do the technique. I think on your homepage, that that piece, I'm really, I'm really oh, yeah, fascinated with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that piece. But what, what is it about the, your, your technique? It's very original. I've yeah, never so, seen anyone anyone doing this. So going back to the the flowers and that kind of thing. So I sort of stopped doing graph for a little period, not like completely, but I just sort of pushed it back to the back burner because I wanted to focus on doing large scale murals and pushing that and, and sort of getting into that sort of area uh, but then you know it's like you always got that itch so for me I, I, I wanted to you know keep doing graph but I wanted it to sort of be relevant to what I was doing so mm. then I sort of took the two and I was starting to just do pieces mm. from petals and flowers I saw the piece you did the piece that really stunned me was recently actually was in Ashford oh the stag the stag, yeah. Well, I mean, it's such a, a man. For those of you in the eyes, here's a picture of the stag. Um, how long did it? How long did it take you to to, to do that? I mean, for me, it was a weather. You know, it didn't look like it was the sunniest of days. It was miserable. <laughs> it was invisible. But how long did something like that take you? And and also, you're scaling. Mm. Are you, what technique are you using for scaling? Are you using squiggles? Are you doing grids? Are you doing it by eye? You know, there's a whole. 
yeah, I, I normally sort of gauge it with furniture on the wall. Like if there's a window there or a pipe there. As long as I know like the eye needs to be there, I start with the eye and then it kind of blossoms. Blossoms like yeah. grows. Like flowers. Like flowers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Have you met any guys review about the, for the idea that you're doing flowers? Like it's like, I just don't get it. Because I think it's one of the most amazing things that uh, a writer to trans to, to make a transition. It, it's for me, it's, 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 it's the idea of looking at Void as work or yeah. someone you know, or Bubble Guy. It's original mm. work. I can't lie, I was kind of shy about it at first. Um, not not shy, but like, mm. Mm, can't really go out with the boys and do this, you know? <laughs> so, for, for, for a few years. No, no, I see, I guess it's happening to the feminine energy, which all artists kind of do, really. That's what we're all about. But, but, you know what I mean? For me, it was about finding something that was true to, like, what I want to do mm. and um, far away from anything else that's been done. So, um, yeah, it just felt like a natural... Uh, Way to go. What would you say is, is your most? I, I don't want to say the word prolific is a word. Mm. If you were to say, well, what's the piece you're most? You said that that I'm really pleased with that. It's got everything that I thought of is in this. Um, none. <laughs> I'm, I'm never. So I guess something's coming. No piece has ever had the full package ticked all the boxes. Right. I don't know. There's always something that. Is that just an artist shit? Yeah, possibly, man. There's always a shoulda, woulda, coulda, but um, mm. for basically performing like for, for, for the public, you know, you're not just there with the ball in front of you. You're there with the community. You're there with passing mm. by. You're there with the um, I don't know where I was going with that. Well, have you done a lot of, yeah. like, going, you, you were kind of running down that track of, you know, Bristol's got its own kind of graffiti festival, you know, Scotland's got yard works. And, yeah. Have you been involved in any of those kind of like kind of events like that? that yeah, the, yeah, that's why you know, Yardworks is brilliant. Man. I think Yardworks. I mean, that's the fourth time I've missed it. I've been always yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to get me out of assignments and doing whatever else. But apparently, it's a, it's a really big it show. Up. It's, it's a really good, good one, mate. Yeah, good one, and, and lots of people like it. It's a beautiful mix as well of graph and no, yeah, contemporary work. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Um, good Does it seem strange coming that far? To, I mean, when you walked into the gallery, what was your because I think the, the thing that people get surprised about is the space. It's amazing. I mean, it wasn't so much of a surprise. I've, I've seen so many videos mm. in the space. So yeah. I've kind of done it in my head. In your head, uh, yeah. So doing this collection of paintings for us, which I think was one of a great idea, finally to get you yeah. here to do this work. Obviously, you're kind of, you're, you're half, the halfway point where you're just, all these creative ideas are coming out. You were telling me yesterday that you saw this parrot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, I think it was the, the second day or something. I went to a bar called Jack's with Billy, and um, there's an old lady at the door, and she's got a little parrot in a drawer. <laughs> in a drawer, just pulled it out. Yeah, she's got food in the drawer, and feeding it. And she goes, oh, you, you got to see the parrot, you got to see the parrot. And it's just like she pulled the drawer open, and he, he popped out, and I was like, <laughs> I was like what's the parrot's name? She was like, Money. I was like, <laughs> yeah, give me money, or give me the parrot money. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, going back, going back to the body of work, like it's it's all going to be about the things that I've seen. Um, I mean, another inspiration is the the peacocks from the Portuguese yeah. embassy just down the road. Yeah, so I'm going to do a piece based on that and the cats. Um, it's just yeah, just what I've lapped up in like the, the small time that I've been here. Well, watch this space. We've got some amazing work from the great man. He really is making a lot of damage, and we'll see you soon at more of our gallery. Boom. <laughs>